Hey there, are you ready to replace your default card experience with our highly customizable smart card? Well, look no further. In this technical walkthrough, our goal is to get your smart card up and running with some of our key features. From the Rebuy Admin, click on the smart card page on the left hand side, then click on New Smart Card. Then let's give your smart card a name. You can choose to display your smart card with a layout of a single or double column. Let's stick with a single column for now and hit Create. Here's a look at our smart card editor. The smart card is separated into five different sections. In the fixed top bar section, you can personalize the smart card by adjusting the cart title. This is perfect in cases where you may want the smart card to fit your theme or store more. For example, let's change the cart title from your cart to your bag. Next, we have the login button, which is enabled by default. This setting provides a way for your customers to log in with ease straight from their cart. If you choose to not want this feature enabled, you can always click on the hide button right here. When it comes to the header, goal box, body, and footer sections, we provide a very customizable way for you to personalize your smart card. In each of these sections, you can choose from a number of features to add. First, let's jump into the header section and click on add, then select announcement bar. The announcement bar is a great feature to announce any promos or discounts to your customer's cart. Let's go ahead and update our announcement bars. If you're looking to inform your customers of, say, a site-wide sale, the announcement bar is a perfect place for this. We could put Black Friday sale 30% off everything. We can even add another announcement where we could let our customers know of a discount to use. For example, use code free mug, limited time only. Since you have multiple announcement messages here, these messages will slide across the top of the bar on the cart. And we can always modify this to have as many announcements as we want, or we can just keep it to one. By having one announcement bar, this will persist without any sliding animation. Okay, let's head back down to the goal box section and click add. In this case, we'll select the tiered progress bar. Our tiered progress bar is perfect for showing your customers a way to keep track of their progress toward qualifying for certain offers like free shipping, free products, a discount towards the whole order, and a tier for decorative purposes only. With this feature, we can have up to four tiers. For now, let's keep the unlock price of free shipping to $50. And to quickly note, in order for free shipping to actually apply, please make sure to make the appropriate shipping rate changes in your Shopify settings. If you're looking to explore all of the options you can use with the tiered progress bar, please check out our guided walkthroughs. We cover everything from the general setup of the tiered progress bar to the finer details of how we use Shopify functions to make full priced products into free gifts and much, much more. Okay, let's head back and now to the body section. As you can see, there are two blocks that have already been placed here. By clicking into the cart items block, you'll be able to use even more of our features. The empty cart language setting allows you to personalize a smart cart when there are no items in the cart. We can also edit this shop now URL so that if a customer were to view their cart first, they can immediately start shopping by clicking to a page that we want to redirect them to. Now, if we're selling both one-time and subscription products, switch to subscription is perfect for your smart cart. This feature allows your customers to seamlessly upgrade their one-time products into subscriptions straight from the cart. Next, we have product meta fields. If you're a developer, this setting will be super useful in cases where you're looking to grab custom data. And lastly, you can also use Buy More, Save More, which aims to motivate customers to purchase more of a product, which in turn gives them an enticing tiered discount. For now, let's keep these features disabled as it will require additional configuration in the editor before they can be published. If you're looking to try out some of these settings, check out our Help Center for more detailed information to get each of these features set up properly. Also, as a quick reminder, feel free to pause this at any moment to adjust your settings throughout the smart cart journey. Next, this right here is our in-cart cross-sell widget, which gets created automatically whenever we create a new smart cart. The cross-sell widget is a perfect way to recommend products straight from the smart cart. By default, these product recommendations are being powered by Rebuy's AI technology. Okay, let's head back and check out our last section. If the footer section isn't quite visible just yet, no worries, we just have to add some products. So let me get rid of this. And now we can add a product through our cross-sell widget, or we can click up here to simulate products in cart and search for a product to add. There we go, we can see the components within the footer again. Now in the cart subtotal component, this setting allows us to adjust how our subtotal text appears. And in the checkout area component, we can enable certain settings where you can provide customers more checkout options, such as accelerated checkout, which includes Shop Pay, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more. Feel free to play around with these settings, but for now, let's just keep it the way it was. Okay, one more key feature I want us to enable. In the footer section, let's click Add. Then let's add a discount code input setting. Now customers won't have to wait until they reach the checkout page to see how much they can save. And if you don't like how your discount component is currently placed, we can just drag this component and reposition it to a different location that suits our taste. The same applies for any of the other components here, as long as it's a draggable component. 
Amazing. Okay, let's go to the top right here and make sure all of our changes have been saved. And now if we wanna set our smart cart live, all we have to do is hit this toggle right here. And there we go, our smart cart has now been successfully created and is live. If you've reached this point and you're having any issues with showing the smart cart, whether that be the smart cart isn't showing up at all, your theme's native cart drawer is showing, or both your theme's native cart and our smart cart are showing, we've got you covered. Please check out our technical walkthrough on troubleshooting and debugging the smart cart. And if you're also interested in taking a deep dive into how each setting of the smart cart works, please visit our help center. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next one.